Hello everybody, we're going to do similar games to Supreme Commander, same as what we did with the last video in which we did similar games to Command and Conquer, do let me know what other games you want to see, and with that out of the way, we can start with the first games actually. And I say games because the first game I would recommend would be Empire Earth and the entirety of the series. Now besides my butchering of the pronunciation aside, I think that this series is really kind of like the best in terms of like a, a large scale RTS game that kind of replicates the scale of that of Supreme Commander. Um, the added benefit of this is the fact that in this game as well, you go through all the different epochs of history. So you go from the ancient age to like the future age where you would kind of see some parallels with that of Supreme Commander. Now, all of the games in the series are kind of like this. I would avoid the third game in the entry because it's really bad. But the first two games are really good, really solid, and the scale of the games are quite humongous. And with the right mods, you can easily get to similar types of Supreme Commander scale with that of, you know, just humongous medieval armies, renaissance gunpowder armies, ancient era armies. It's really nice, actually. Um, the one thing I would say is that it's not, you know, similar to Supreme Commander in terms of the reclaim mechanic, but there are multiple resources for you to gather up and control. So it is similar in terms of it being a larger, a large scale RTS game. And I mean specifically on that, in that Supreme Commander is only energy and metal to really worry about, so I'm not talking about the diversity of resources, but rather the fact that, just like in Supreme Commander, you are juggling between this large-scale army as well as your own economy. Except in this game, it's more of like an Age of Empires focus when you have having gatherers and workers and higher tiers of building structures. Much in the same way as Supreme Commander, you use citizens as well as um, different resources to upgrade your buildings. The next game on the list would be Sins of a Solo Empire Rebellion, as well as just the base game. Indeed, this game is probably sharing a lot more with uh, Supreme Commander than the other entry. I mean, ultimately, it is a large-scale, massive RTS game that has 4X elements, so you're also not only managing your economy as well as your military, but also dealing with different factions, the researches as well are also much longer, and there's an actual tree, instead of which Supreme Commander is more simplified, whereas Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, it has to do with your capital income, your diplomacy, your trade, your special abilities. It's very, very massive, the differences between the three factions, but ultimately what they're united by are humongous titan units which is something that supreme commander has in spades as well as just massive scales hundreds of thousands of spaceships fighting much in the same way as hundreds of thousands of units now it doesn't use a streaming economy like say supreme commander nor does it have the reclaim but it does have the scale of supreme commander and in terms of spaceship games you will never find a game unless it's a 4x turn-based game you will never find a game that has as much um scale as that of supreme commander in space uh, unless you're talking about Masters of Orion, but Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion is better because it's always real-time and seamless. Now next would be Rise of Nations, and Rise of Nations is similar to that of our previous game actually, talking about all the epochs and the eras and all that stuff. Instead, in Rise of Nations, the scale is a lot larger, as well as in addition to this, it has also the benefit of being just one game in the series, which is just excellent, excellent. Uh, so Rise of Nations and its companion Rise of Legends are both large-scale RTS games, and much in the same way as Empire Earth, Rise of Nations is kind of the scale of humanity from the ancient age to the future age, with all these technologies that you have to worry about in between, and massive armies that you're fighting off your opponents with, having also the ability to launch nukes, much in the same way as Supreme Commander as well as different games in this entry. Um, still not having the super units, but every single faction has unique units much in the same way as the different other games in the series here that were in this list. So ultimately, when you're getting out of this game is a Empire Earth, but I would say clipped, a lot more simplified, but still nonetheless very reminiscent of Supreme Commander. No reclaim, but there's that. Total Annihilation is up next, and this is kind of the granddaddy or the I, I guess the god of Supreme Commander. This would be the old, um, well, it's not essentially an old version of Supreme Commander. Total Annihilation plays much differently to that Supreme Commander, but in a lot of ways, it shares a lot of similarities. There's massive scale. It is, well, it's 2D instead of actually being 3D, but the scale of the game, as well as the ability to reclaim units and a lot of the other features that are reminiscent of Supreme Commander, much like experimental units and tier systems, are in Total Annihilation. 
except that it's a more 2D version of it. However, it doesn't at all destroy any of the sort of like massive scale that you can see in the game. Like, although you can angle the units, you can still see your entire screen being carpeted by just different unit after different unit with a lot of the same features like reclaim being in this game similar to that of supreme commander more so than any of the other games and the sci-fi aesthetic really like seals the deal plus the added benefit of experimentals you can't go wrong with this game but it is an older entry and there is a different entry that might satisfy you a little bit more and really that next entry is zero k zero k is very similar to total annihilation to supreme commander except here's the thing it's free and that's a really nice thing. There's also a large unit diversity and experimental unit diversity as well as super weapon unit diversity. I've never seen someone get killed by a disco cannon, but it does happen. And I think that when it comes down to wanting that Supreme Commander feel, but also in a free and easy way, Zero K is really somewhere you cannot go wrong. And because it is free, you can only you can just give it a shot and the only thing we're wasting is basically your time. Which I mean if you're watching this video, you probably have plenty of time to waste anyway. So go ahead and pick up some Zero K. If you love Supreme Commander's gameplay, as well as Total Annihilation, you'll see a lot of reminiscent features in this game that would make you very nostalgic. Planetary Annihilation is the next game. Now, my channel was made on Planetary Annihilation, and it's, it's a good game, I would say, in a lot of aspects, but it does have some failing qualities that I'll mention uh, later. First and foremost, it is probably the most massive scale, like, intergalactic game of this type that you'll ever see in a while, actually. The fact that Planetary Annihilation are... It will is it basically a game where there's multiple planets that you fight over with massive armies, massive experimentals, the ability to reclaim, the ability to use nukes as well as different um, destructive weapons to annihilate entire planets like asteroid striking and laser weapon sniping. The fact that you have all of these like units interplayed with orbital units that also like scout ahead or also destroy the ground from below is incredible actually. It's just I kind of hesitate because it still lags a lot. There's a lot of sim issues and it's definitely best played when you're on one planet but my god the scale of Supreme Commander is massive because you can have all these players in free fall settings even larger if you have like a large enough private server you can get to 40 players and i've played in those games and all those guys with all those armies with all those experimentals all those nukes trying to reclaim trying to outdo each other it's probably the greatest experience you can play in a massive scale rts game kind of the closest battle royale rts game that you can see 40 players i think that's i don't know if that's the max an rts game has ever had but i know warcraft has 24 v 24 players Regardless, Supreme Commander, but with multiple planets, you can't go wrong. There are like issues with it that separate it from Total Annihilation Supreme Commander, but you can't go wrong. Next would be Rusted Warfare, a 2D uh, strategy game very reminiscent of Total Annihilation and Supreme Commander. Experimentals, nukes, massive armies, reclaim, all that shit, while also being very compact and very easy to digest. It's not a very complex Supreme Commander. You know, there's there's not a lot of different tiers, not a lot of different unit variety and stuff. But it's so simple and basic that it's very easy to mod. And so you have like all these different mods with Godzilla, Warhammer 40k, Star Wars, all this shit just kind of riled into this game. And honestly, if you want a cheap, simple to learn Supreme Commander, maybe you have difficulty with Supreme Commander and you want something basic and you want something 2D, Rusted Warfare is pretty good for you. And finally, last on our list would be Ashes of a Singularity. I would call this a Supreme Commander type game, like a massive scale RTS game, but with like different um, different qualities to it. First and foremost, it's very tug of war, so it's not like an open canvas. You are controlling points on the match, which give you resources and also feed into a supply chain of sorts. We can only build in those areas, so it's a little bit more interesting. It's more of a tug of war sort of like massive scale RTS game where you're building thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hundreds of thousands of units with experimentals and all this shit but the matches are massive and they're all tug of war based so you're going back and forth back and forth fighting over territories and command points and I have to say that it is an odd it's a very massive game um, you will it could rival that of Supreme Commander in a lot of ways actually um, I would say that again it is the 
much just that you're assuming that this enemy territory is controlling us, and we're not going to have control than anything else in any other game. So, with that out of the way, let's get some armor mentions, I guess Reller 2, kind of, it's weird, but there's massive scale, but it's it plays different to that, so I don't know if I has to say so, and, uh, you know, I would say more so, any of the Age of Empires games, if you just click on the population limit. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video, and